Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Monday Night Raw. We're coming to you live from Charlotte, North Carolina, as we get set for this big night of action here on the Red Brand, only a couple of weeks away before the Survivor Series in New Orleans, Louisiana. And this, one of the three qualifying Survivor Series matches is set to take place right now. As the Bar are not only looking to be a part of Team Raw, but they are also looking to become the Raw Tag Team Champions with the second with the second one being their main priority. Sheamus and Cesaro, both of these men, they claim to have carried Raw through the tag team division ever since they won the tag team titles, but since they've lost them, I think Sheamus and Cesaro, they've gotten even more hungry. They've gotten even more dangerous. And just to think, Sheamus and Cesaro, both of these guys are also, you know, not fond of one another, not a tag team that you would usually think of and that would usually pair together but they found a similar a similar beef in the Hall of Destruction a couple of months ago they beat Mark Henry and Big Show for the Raw Tag Team titles and ever since then Sheamus and Cesaro have been a well-oiled machine and you gotta give Cesaro and Sheamus the credit the credit that they deserve one of the top tag teams not only in WWE not only on Raw but in the world as Sheamus and Cesaro are set to challenge these two men for the Raw Tag Team Championships as the grandiose must see WWE Superstar is also one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions and it's the Miz with his beautiful wife Marie Santo. And the Miz. And, and Daniel Bryan. They had they have had issues with Seamus and Cesaro. And they are looking to squash the beef between Seamus themselves and Seamus and Cesaro here tonight. Brawling all over the arena last week. Miz interfered in the bars match against Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose. It's just been back and forth back and forth between these two teams and it's now going to culminate here tonight with the winners not only being the raw tag team champions but they are going to advance to team raw at survivor series and you know bret hart is going to bring every every single weapon he possibly can onto the battlefield at survivor series but eric bischoff he came in he came out guns blazing after bret hart accepted the accepted Eric Bischoff challenge. It's been on between Raw and SmackDown Brand Warfare here at Survivor Series. And here is the other half of the Raw Tag Team Champions. The American Dragon, Daniel Bryan. The leader of the Yes Movement, whatever you want to call him. He's one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions. He is Daniel Bryan. And it's kind of surprising that Daniel Bryan and The Miz are able to coexist here. Actually have a similar, it's actually similar to Sheamus and Cesaro. Sheamus and Cesaro really didn't like each other that much, but they had a similar grudge. They had a similar problem. Same problem with Mark Henry and Big Show a couple of months ago. They teamed up to take down the Hall of Destruction. It's kind of similar. It's deja vu in a way. Daniel Bryan and The Miz, they don't like, they particularly didn't like each other, but Eric Bischoff put them together to take on the Raw Tag Team Division and it led them here. The Raw Tag Team Championships. As now Miz and Daniel Bryan, they hold the red straps. The Tag Team Titles of Monday Night Raw, possibly the last time. They'll hold the belts. As Sheamus and Cesaro, you know they're coming in with a game plan. Miz and Daniel Bryan not really fond in the Tag Team Championship scene. Probably the third match, third, fourth match as Raw Tag Team Champions. I mean, excuse me, as a tag team. As Miz now, oh, has Cesaro in a headlock and an elbow right to the neck. 
And we know Sheamus and Cesaro, they've been teaming together for months now. So they know they have a game plan. But do, do, do the Miz and Daniel Bryan have one? As Cesaro goes behind the back end. Chain wrestling here between Cesaro and the Miz. These two men had a great one-on-one -on -one match a couple of weeks ago. Heading into No Mercy as Miz again. Both men into a headlock. And now, Irish whipping to the corner. Goes Cesaro and Miz drops Cesaro with a DDT. He drops his all with a DDT and now a right, the right hand from Miz. And keep in mind, the winners of this match will be on Team Raw. So it's big stakes here tonight in Charlotte. Three Survivor Series qualifying matches. Eric Bischoff is pulling no punches here against SmackDown Live. He wants his team and he wants his team fast as the Miz gets jacked by that European uppercut. Oh! Later tonight, it's going to be Braun Strowman versus Big Cass. The winner, it also advances to the Survivor Series. And in the main event, it'll be the long-standing feud. Oh! Between Shinsuke Nakamura and Chris Jericho in a last-man standing match with the winner also advancing to Team Raw. So it's big stakes here on Monday Night Raw as we head into Survivor Series. Oh! And a double shoulder block between... Oh! by Samus and Cesaro, and you know that has to hurt. As Miz, shoulders are down, new Raw Tag Team Champions, not just yet. And Daniel Bryan, he wants to tag, he wants to get back into this match. Daniel Bryan, oh, the last time we seen Bryan and the Miz in the ring together was when they defended the Raw Tag Team titles against the Revival. That was the last time we saw the Miz and Daniel Bryan in the ring. It's been weeks. And Sheamus, the latest Sheamus and Cesaro been in the ring was two weeks ago when they faced against Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins. So, could there be ring rust between Brian and Miz? It's a question that we're soon to find out as Brian and Miz with the double back body drop the teamwork between Miz and Daniel Bryan. Two men that admittedly didn't like one, that they don't like one another. They kind of, I, I say it, they hate each other. And look at the teamwork by Miz and Bryan. Showing that they can coexist here as Daniel Bryan goes through the middle rope onto Sheamus. And the leader of the Yes Movement has the Tag Team Championship match in the palm of his hand here. As Bryan's gonna drag Sheamus. Gonna throw him back into the ring and Daniel Bryan. Ooh. Boot right to the side of the head. Boot right to the side of the head. And Cesaro, he wants to tag, but he's not going to get it. As Daniel Bryan now with the neck lock. Bryan with this neck lock here. And Sheamus, he's in big trouble. Sheamus is in big trouble. Can the big man, will the big man be able to get up and find a way out? As Bryan has locked it in, he's cinched it in now. It's cinched in. But Sheamus finds a way. He powers out. And Sheamus, oh. Drops Brian with a knee. Dropped Brian with a knee right onto the jaw. And now Sheamus has him up. Boom! Fireman's carry. By Sheamus. And now. Sheamus is showboarding to the crowd. But wait a minute, there's a Brian. Brian rolls him up. Brian rolls him up. One. Two. Is it over already? No, it's not. Kick out at two by Sheamus. You're not gonna get oh. You're not going to beat Sheamus that easily. As Sheamus now. Oh, Punch right to the back. Punch right to the face. And oh! Knee right to the back of Daniel Bryan. And you're going to feel that definitely in the morning. And the knee right into the back. And the match has been turned right on its head here. As Sheamus and Cesaro are in control. The well-oiled machine of the bar. Oh, just throws Brian into the corner and look at the power between Sheamus and Cesaro. Double kicks right to the gut as Cesaro now is going to drag just the lifeless body of Daniel Bryan. The match has been turned on its head ever since that knee right into the spine of Daniel Bryan. You know, Daniel Bryan's had issues with his spine. He's had issues with his head. He's had issues with his neck as Daniel Bryan had in the past. And now, oh, 
European uppercut jacks the jaw, and now Daniel Bryan. Bryan trying to fight back here against Cesaro. Trying to fight back here against Cesaro. Cesaro goes to the middle up to the outside, and this does not look good for the Swiss Superman. Trying to punch, oh! Through the middle rope, and Sheamus, he tried to, he tried to hook Daniel Bryan, but he just couldn't. Bryan was too fast, and now, climbing to the top is Daniel Bryan. And Daniel Bryan, this guy is so exciting. And Bryan is waiting for Cesaro, but look at the speed, the reflexes of Cesaro. The reflexes of Cesaro. And now he hooks him up. Plants him with the power bomb. Plants it, Daniel Bryan, and now the, the feet into the stomach. And now a European uppercut. And Cesaro, just, a, just an extraordinary athlete in between those ropes. As Cesaro, big elbow right to the jaw. And now hooks him up, and look at the athleticism. Using the second rope as a springboard device for that suplex, and now Daniel Bryan, he's really in big trouble. In the wrong corner, as Cesaro tags in Sheamus. And now, arm wrench. Oh, what a shoulder tackle. Oh, and Bryan, he's really in a bad way here. Miz wants to tag, the Miz wants in. But will he get in as a European uppercut jacks the jaw of Daniel Bryan? Oh, smashes for the Raw Tag Team Championship as the crowd is looking to bring Daniel Bryan back to life here. Bryan, snap there. Bryan with a snap there. Bring Sheamus down. Days is Sheamus temporarily. And look at this, the yes lock. The yes lock is it in. It is in. It's in. It's cinched in here. And Sheamus is in trouble. Sheamus is in trouble. Sheamus is in trouble here, but Sheamus, he breaks it apart with one hand, oh, and a punch right to the chest. Looked like a heart punch by Sheamus and Brian counters. Brian is going to stay on you. It's hard, it's hard to get rid of Daniel Brian. And now Brian, Irish whip it to the corner. Sheamus is in trouble, and Sheamus, what a counter by Sheamus, but this is Vintage Daniel Bryan! Vintage Daniel Bryan here! What an elbow! What an elbow by one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions! And now has Sheamus on his knees! And now the kicks! The kicks right to Sheamus! Kick right to the head! And Daniel Bryan is feeling it! Brian is feeling the momentum here. Oh, knee right to the jaw by Sheamus. Knee right to the jaw by Sheamus. And now, Sheamus has Brian up on the top. Has Brian up on the top. And this does not look good for, for Daniel Bryan here. Oh, my! What a rolling hills by Sheamus off the top. And this could be curtains here, but Miz saves the match. Miz saves the match. And now Maurice, the wife of the Miz, trying to get involved. And you see the Miz and Maurice both heckling Sheamus, trying to give Daniel Bryan the chance. Can Bryan make it to the tag? And Sheamus gets right in front of the Miz. And he clocks him. And now Sheamus. And I don't think Sheamus is through. I don't think Sheamus is through with the Miz here. Miz is trying to get to his feet. He's the illegal man, Sheamus. Oh. He checks the jaw of the Miz. You better focus on Daniel Bryan and a knee. Right to the face. But I think Sheamus is one pissed off Irishman. As Sheamus with a bro kick right to the Miz. Bro kick right to Miz. And look at this. Look at this. Cesaro now. Cesaro going to get involved. Cesaro going to get involved. And a roundhouse kick by Brian. Roundhouse kick by Brian. And Brian now has the crowd on its feet. And the knee plus to Cesaro. Knee plus to Cesaro. Knee plus to Cesaro. And Sheamus now. 
Shame is gonna climb to the top, and you don't see this every day from the big man. And Brian, look at that, what a counter! What a counter! And Brian now, yes, luck is in! Yes, luck is in! And Seamus, does he have a, does he have somewhere to go? It appears Seamus has nowhere to go here! And the running knee by Miz! Running knee by Miz! And now Daniel Bryan has it cinched in center of the ring! No help for Seamus! No help for Seamus! No help! And Seamus has no choice but to tap out! Sheamus had no choice but to tap out to the yes lock. Brian and Miz retain the Raw Tag Team titles. And Brian and Miz able to retain the Raw Tag Team Championships. Miz and Daniel Bryan are successful here on Monday Night Raw. And these, these two are the first men on Team Raw. The Miz and Daniel Bryan, two out of the four members for Team Monday Night Raw. And SmackDown is going to have real trouble. But is Triple H going to make sure that his man Big Cass is on Team Raw? And here is Alina Vega, the manager of Andrade Cien Almas, who just recently won the TV Championship last week on Raw. And here he comes. Here comes Alina Lope. Here comes Andrade Cien Almas, fresh off his victory against Dolph Ziggler for the television championship and Andrade Cien Almas has inked his name in the history books as television champion and what a main event that was between Andrade Cien Almas and Dolph Ziggler And I think Dolph Ziggler has something to say about that. Dolph Ziggler, the former champion, who lost the title to Andrade last week on Raw. And he does not look happy in the slightest. And wait a minute, are we going to go here? Are we going to go here? Ziggler and Almas, are they going to go here? Ziggler with the Dukes up. Ziggler is making his tensions known. He wants to become a two-time television champion. And look at the tension between Andrade and Ziggler. But wait a minute. That's Prince Pretty. That's Tyler Breeze. Look at him. Look at the ring. Andrade and Ziggler they still haven't still haven't laid eyes off each other. And the tension is palpable. Tyler Breeze, he just... Tyler Breeze just... He just... He just suggested a match between either Almas or Ziggler. And I think Breeze understands that the tension is real between Almas and Ziggler. And he's trying to insert himself into the... Into the TV championship picture. And is that the Ambrose? Is that Roman Reigns? It looks like it's Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose are speaking to each other backstage. Roman is in the building, but it appears that he's leaving. I heard what Ambrose and Rollins said last week. They said they need Roman Reigns to take down the Bullet Club if they're going to be successful in doing so. 
And Roman Reigns looks like he just brushed off Dean Ambrose. It appears to me that he just brushed off Dean Ambrose and went back into his went back into the limousine. But we're switching gears as we get set for the the second Survivor Series qualifying match as Big Cass is set to go one on one toe to toe with the monster among men, the Intercontinental Champion, Braun Strowman. And these people, they have no, they have no words, no, no emotion for Big Cass, I should say. Because Big Cass had no emotion for his former friend Enzo Amore. He brutalized Enzo Amore. We haven't heard anything from Enzo Amore since that heinous attack from Cass. And these people have nothing really, no, no emotion towards Colin Cassidy. But they sure as hell have emotion for this man right here. The monster among men, the Intercontinental Champion. Braun Strowman! And Braun Strowman, he has held that Intercontinental Championship since payback. And that was about 500 days ago. 500 plus days as the Intercontinental Champion. Absolutely insurmountable by the Monster Among Men, by Braun Strowman. He's defended that title against the likes of Dean Ambrose, against Sami Zayn, against The Miz, against Roman Reigns, against Big Show. And now he's looking to put Colin Cassidy on his list. And Braun Strowman, the tension was palpable between himself and Colin Cassidy last week on Raw. Both of these guys, they want to be on Team Raw. They want to be team captain of the brand. And Eric Bischoff, he said he's going to find the weak link between either Strowman and Cass. And look at these guys. The battle of behemoths. And now Cass laying right into Braun. Oh! Laying right into Braun Strowman. Strowman is dancing into the corner. And now Cass. What a counter by Strowman. But look at the slide through by Cass. And the clothesline. What a clothesline by Big Cass. And now Colin Cassidy. Big Cass, Colin Cassidy, Casshole, Asshole, whatever you want to call Big Cass. He's he's a hell of a performer. And oh, a shoulder block by Cass. And Colin Cassidy now climbing to the top rope. You don't see this every day, but what a hook by Braun Strowman! And he sends Cass outside the ring. And now Strowman, Strowman looking to do damage. But look at Cass running right back into the ring he wants. He knows how dangerous Braun Strowman is. He knows how dangerous Braun Strowman is. And again, Big Cass leaves the ring. Cass leaves the ring and Braun Strowman is going to follow suit. But again, it's just the mind games by Colin Cassidy. The mind games by Colin. And now Braun Strowman, Braun Strowman with rights. But now Cass... Cass with rights of his own. Oh! Cassidy with rights of his own. And he brings Strowman down. And again, more rights. And he just can't bring Strowman down. He can't bring Strowman down. And when he's able to lift Strowman, able to lift Strowman is Cass. And the speed of Big Cass. Able to almost take Braun Strowman's head off with that drop kick. And now Colin Cassidy has the big man down. He has the Intercontinental Champion down. And if he's able to beat Braun Strowman here tonight, what does that mean in the future? Is Cass eligible for a shot at the Intercontinental title? As, oh, big clubbing blow right across the chest of our Intercontinental Champion. And now Strowman, he's struggling. Struggling to breathe here as Cass is restricted airflow from the throat and now Braun oh big elbows right to the gut of Colin Cassidy into the corner and Braun Strowman uses his weight as an advantage using his size as an advantage and now Strowman with rights Strowman with repeated rights here and now Strowman hooks him up Strowman lifts him up and he drops him Strowman dropped him 
And now, picks up Colin Cassidy. What a drop kick by Strowman. Strowman might be big, but he sure as hell is athletic. As Braun Strowman now lifts him up, but no. Try to go for the power slam, but Cass counters it into a neck breaker. Well scouted by Colin Cassidy. Trying to go for the jackknife now. But oh, what a counter by Strowman. What a counter by Braun Strowman. And now Cass. Cass is on Dream Street. Cass is on Dream Street and again. And just the sheer fact that both Strowman and Cass can pick each other up is insurmountable. As Braun Strowman is grabbing Cass by his head and he drops him. Dropped him face first onto the mat. And now Strowman. Strowman has him pinned. Shoulders are down here. And a kick out at two by Colin. And Braun has to do more damage if you want to put the big guy away. Oh, and I can say the same for Colin Cassidy. As now, Braun Strowman. Both men butt heads. Both men butt heads and what a knee lift. What a knee lift. Knee colliding with the face. Could have a broken nose. And able to throw Braun Strowman across the ring is Colin Cassidy. Colin Cassidy with ease was just able to throw Braun Strowman across the ring. And now Colin Cassidy wants him up. And what a knee trembler. But doesn't bring Strowman down. But that Lariat does. That Lariat does. And I think, Strowman, I think Strowman's on Dream Street right now. And my God. Able to lift Strowman up. Able to lift Strowman on top of his head. And a kick out at two. And Colin Cassidy can't believe it. I can't believe that that man just lifted a 400 plus pound individual over the top of his damn head. Oh, but a right hand by Strowman and a clothesline by Strowman. And this is sure, this is surely a battle of the behemoths between Strowman and Cass. At all. Kick right to the, kick right to the gut. And now Cass, Cass hooks him up and Cass brings him down with the knee right into the spine. Daniel Bryan and The Miz have already advanced to Team Raw. Will it be Colin Cassidy like Triple H wants it to be? Or will it be Braun Strowman joining Team Raw? And Strowman is trying to get on his feet. Trying to get on his feet here. And Cass with the shoulder block. Cass with the big shoulder block. And now hooks him up. Does not look good. Strowman power bombs him. Power bombs the Intercontinental Champion. He power bombed the Intercontinental Champion. This time it was successful. And now Cass is not going to let up. Cass is not going to allow Braun Strowman to breathe. It's, oh my God, what a right by Strowman. Oh, and a right by Cass. But oh my, Braun Strowman, what a military press slam. What a military press slam! And Cass is clearly dazed! What a running power slam by Strowman! Running power slam! Running power slam! And Braun Strowman is going to Survivor Series just like that! One running power slam could put a man to sleep. Could put a man away. You could count to 3,000. You can count to a million. You're not kicking out. And what, what a battle of behemoths this was between Cass and Braun Strowman. And look at the strength of Strowman and then able to slam Cass afterwards. And Braun Strowman is one of the three people currently that are on Team Raw. The Miz and Daniel Bryan are already on Team Raw. We just have one more man. Will it be Shinsuke Nakamura? Or will it be Chris Jericho in our main event tonight? And the tensions are rising as we head into Survivor Series and SmackDown, you're in a whole lot of trouble. SmackDown Live is in a whole lot of trouble as you have Braun Strowman on your team.
Braun Strowman, the Intercontinental Champion, the undefeated Braun Strowman, is on Team Raw. And Big Cass is in the ring. And here comes Triple H. And Triple H said that Cass will be on Team Raw. And Triple H is telling Big Cass to get up, get on his feet. Hey, wait a minute! Hey, wait a minute! Triple H now! Triple H! Pedigree to Cass! Pedigree to Big Cass! Pedigree to Colin Cassidy! And a pissed off Triple H! Triple H! Pedigree's Cass into the mat! And you got... I, I'm feeling sorry for Big Cass! He... Unbelievable! Ladies and gentlemen, I have to divert my attention to next week. As just confirmed by Eric Bischoff, it'll be Dolph Ziggler versus Tyler Breeze with the winner facing Andrade C. and Almas for the TV title in the upcoming weeks. And in the main event of next week's show, it'll be Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose going against Gallows and Anderson in a tag team match. Something's got to give on next week's edition of Monday Night Raw. Big fight feel and something's got to give in the main event here tonight. As Chris Jericho is set to take on Shinsuke Nakamura for the second time. And this time it is a last man standings match. And Chris Jericho and Nakamura, they both accepted this match. They both want to destroy each other. They both want blood from the other. It all started when Chris Jericho was beaten by Dean Ambrose at SummerSlam. He wasn't in the Fatal 4-Way match to determine who will face Ambrose at No Mercy. And Jericho decided to take all, all his anger out on Shinsuke Nakamura, allowing Finn Balor to face Ambrose for the Universal title at No Mercy. And Shinsuke Nakamura He's trying to get his revenge on Chris Jericho, but Jericho was able to beat him at no mercy. And now Eric Bischoff says that this has to come to an end. This feud has, has become destructive, mentally and physically destructive for the both men. And nothing is more mentally and physically destructive than the last man standings match. And Chris Jericho awaits. We await for the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. And Shinsuke Nakamura makes his charismatic entrance, his emphatic entrance, down the ramp into the ring. And I will go by the rules of the last man standing match. The only way to win is to physically incapacitate your opponent long enough for the referee's 10 count. No pinfalls, no submissions, no count outs, no disqualifications, no referee stoppages. The only way to win that match, to win this match, is to beat your opponent badly enough that they cannot respond in time to the referee's 10 count. And this match will be physically punishing. And we've seen last man standing matches in the past. John Cena and Batista rings a bell. As Nakamura is set for his first ever last man standing match. Chris Jericho himself has been in a few last man standing matches against the likes of Shawn Michaels. And now, Nakamura. Set to make his grandiose entrance. A couple of last man standing matches. Matches such as Triple H versus Shawn Michaels for the World Heavyweight Championship at the Royal Rumble in 2004. Chris Jericho versus Shawn Michaels 
on Monday Night Raw only a couple, 10 years ago. John Cena versus Batista at Extreme Rules 2010 for the WWE Championship. Big Show versus Del Rio for the world title at Royal Rumble 2013. There's been several, several great last man standing matches in the past. And I'm pretty sure that this will be amongst them. As Shinsuke Nakamura and Chris Jericho are set to do battle. Here in the main event of Monday Night Raw, only reserved for the best of the best. Shinsuke Nakamura has beaten Brock Lesnar. He's beaten the likes of Bray Wyatt, Seth Rollins. But he has never been able to beat Chris Jericho. Will this change here tonight? Probably the biggest main event we've seen on the channel so far on Monday Night Raw Chris Jericho versus Shinsuke Nakamura the winner is the last man added onto the team onto the Raw Survivor Series team as both of these men lock eyes against one another and this feud is personal a personal bitter rivalry between Nakamura and Jericho. And Jericho trying to psych him out. Jericho hit him with a drop kick, but Nakamura doesn't even drop. Nakamura doesn't even drop. And now Nakamura chopping the chest of Chris Jericho. Gonna turn Chris Jericho's chest into minced meat here. And now Nakamura throwing Chris Jericho repeatedly into the guardrail. And now Nakamura, what a knee to the jaw. Knee right to the jaw of Chris Jericho. And you know this match is going to be physically punishing. As Jericho, oh, throws Nakamura, rip first into the guardrail. And oh, and a DDT. And a DDT to the outside. And now Jericho is going to throw Nakamura back into the ring. And Nakamura, he doesn't know where he's at. His head hit. That lightly padded concrete floor. And now Jericho. Oh. Oh. And a big elbow. And you know that not only are they competing for the win, they're competing to damage each other. They wanted to hurt each other for so long. Jericho and Nakamura. And especially Chris Jericho. And Jericho has that chance. Oh. And now Jericho inflicting punishment. Jericho has been in last man standing matches before. He knows what to expect in a last man standing match. He knows exactly what to expect in a last man standings match. And oh, huge chop by Chris Jericho. And now, oh, kick right to the gut. And Nakamura, he's never been in a last man standing match. But you should know the, just the, the punishment. You should dish out and the punishment you're going to receive in a last man standings match as Chris Jericho, the more experienced man in the match type, brings Nakamura only down for a three count. As usually we could end the match, but it's a last man standing match. It doesn't end until the referee counts 10. As Jericho, oh, just steps on the face of Nakamura and just the, the disrespect of... Chris Jericho against Shinsuke Nakamura against anybody and everybody over the past couple of months here on Monday Night Raw, but Nakamura he's gonna fight back. That's what Nakamura does, and now Nakamura elbows right to Jericho. Elbows right to Chris Jericho, and another elbow to Jericho. A second elbow to Jericho, and now Nakamura over the top goes Nakamura. Over the top goes Shinsuke Nakamura. And now, oh, goes right into the guardrail on the right hand by Jericho. Right hand by Jericho! And knee right to the knee onto knee. 
with that knee crusher by Jericho. And now, oh, which is a good strategy on Jericho's part. If he takes out Nakamura's knees, it's going to be even harder for Shinsuke Nakamura to, one, hit the Kinshasa, and two, get up for the 10 count. As Jericho showing massive disrespect to Nakamura. And Nakamura, he gets to his feet, oh! And that elbow sends him over the guardrail. Elbow sends him over the guardrail, and Nakamura's gonna come flying back at Nakamura. Nakamura now, flying back, swinging here with chops right to the chest. Knife edge chops right to Jericho. And we've seen some great last man standing matches in the past. Matches like Edge versus Chris Benoit. And a chair, oh! And chairs, oh, against the back of Chris Jericho. Against the back of Jericho. And now, Nakamura looking to beat Jericho off those chair shots, but Jericho gets up at the five count. As Nakamura, another knife edge chop. Sending strikes Jericho's way. And Jericho's in trouble. Oh, he levels him with a kick. Level Shinsuke Nakamura with a kick and what a power bomb! What a power bomb by Jericho and now Jericho it right right to Nakamura. Oh, Jericho it right and now Jericho it left. Stop right to the gut again. Stop right to the gut by Jericho and now Jericho showboating. And this new persona of Chris Jericho just being desperate for a world title match. It's insurmountable, but what a German! What a German! And Nakamura! Nakamura takes advantage of Jericho's, well, oh, naiveness. And now Jericho with a counter. And I spoke too soon on Jericho's naiveness as Jericho was able to scout the Kinshasa. Was able to scout the Kinshasa and what a Northern Lights suplex by Jericho. Jericho, who's been in the wrestling business for 20 plus years. And now, right hand. And, oh! Kick right to the gut again. And now Jericho again with right hands. Again with right hands to Nakamura. Oh! Repeated right hands by Chris Jericho. And now Jericho is brandishing the steel chair in his hand. Has the steel chair in his hand. And no, this does not look good for Nakamura. But Nakamura is able to fight out. Able to break out of Jericho. And now. Onto the ropes. And Nakamura. Nakamura looks like he's ready to inflict more pain. Looking to inflict even more pain. And Jericho now. Getting pulled by the hair here by Nakamura. And now, Nakamura drops him again. Nakamura drops him again. And now, Nakamura is not looking for a third time. Three times the charm. But no way he's looking for a third time here. Looking to drop Jericho for a third time onto the top rope. And he does. Three suplexes onto the top rope and Nakamura is telling Jericho to get up if you can and this last man standing match has been nothing shy of brutal as Nakamura Nakamura is telling him he's telling Jericho it's a wrap and Jericho he gets up at 8 he gets up at the 8 count and now Nakamura charge off kicks him Well scouted by Jericho. What a well scouted maneuver by Jericho. And the code breaker right to Nakamura. Code breaker out of nowhere to Shinsuke Nakamura. Code breaker to Shinsuke Nakamura. And Nakamura's on Stream Street. Referee's at an eight count here. And wait a minute, Jericho picks him back up? Why did Jericho pick him back up? I'm pretty sure. 
and I think Jericho's looking to inflict even more punishment. Oh, there goes Nakamura. Looking to inflict even more punishment on Shinsuke Nakamura, and I'm 100% correct on that one. Jericho is just looking to inflict damage onto Shinsuke Nakamura. And now, Jericho picks Nakamura back up, and he just knocks him silly. Knocks him out cold with those cold, hard steel steps. And Nakamura has not moved. He has not moved after being hit straight in the skull with those steel steps. But Nakamura, he gets back to his feet. Oh. Jericho now has him on his shoulder in a fireman's carry position. And Jericho now cradles him. He cradles him and oh my god! Body slam right onto the top of the cold hard steel. Right onto the cold hard steel. And Jericho. Does he have this match in the bag? Is he joining Team Raw? Is it it for Nakamura? And it's not. Nakamura still with the heart and over the guardrail goes Nakamura. Nakamura with the heart. The heart to go on. The heart to continue. And Nakamura, he's fighting that he's fighting Jericho. He's stopping a mud hole in the Chris Jericho. Oh, and you know emotions. You know emotions are running high here. Oh! Head bounces right off the steel post. And now again. Again goes Jericho. And now pushes him into the steel again. Into that LED post. Oh, and he knocks Jericho off. And now, oh, and a kick right to the gut. Kick right to the gut by Nakamura. And now, oh, right hand by Jericho. Right hand by Chris Jericho. And now, oh, what an elbow. And now Nakamura. Again, oh, and a knife edge chop by Jericho. Repeated knife edge chop. And again, Jericho has him in a scoop slam position. And he slams him onto the hardest part of the ring. Slams him on the hardest part of the ring. And now Jericho wielding the steel chair. He's wielding a steel chair and trying to inflict more punishment. On to Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura gets up at 8. Oh! Right to the stomach. And now a DDT and he plants Nakamura. He planted Shinsuke Nakamura. And this does not look good. Does not look good. For Shinsuke Nakamura. It's Jericho. Going to be on Team Raw along with Brian, Miz, and Strowman. And no, he's not. Not just yet. And oh. Well, this match has been all Jericho with, with little offer from Nakamura. But I spoke too soon as Nakamura almost took Chris Jericho's lights out with that right hand. And now Nakamura kick to the chest. Another kick to the chest. Another kick to the chest by Nakamura. And the knee. Kitchen sink by Nakamura. And now, Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura, barely anything left, but he's able to pick up Jericho and lift him up here to the top. Oh. Both of these guys on the top rope. Oh no. Nakamura has him on his shoulders. This does not look good for both of these men. What a landslide! What a landslide by Chris, but onto Chris Jericho. By Shinsuke Nakamura. And now Nakamura is grabbing the steel steps. And I don't I think that's the end of Chris Jericho. I think it's the end of Jericho here. Jericho is yet to move after the landslide. And Jericho, he gets up at the 10 count. 
And now Nakamura has a ball. On to the steal. And is it payback a bitch? Chris Jericho. Nakamura now leaves the ring. Both of these guys again on the outside. And an elbow right to the jaw. Right to Chris Jericho. And Jericho well scouted. Jericho scouted that. And oh! Head collided. White with post. Head collided with post. And now Jericho. And now Jericho. Is dragging Nakamura by his hair. Just inflict as much damage as you possibly can. That's the goal. Of the last man standings match. As... Jericho is just dragging Shinsuke Nakamura by his hair up onto the stage, up onto the announce table. And this does not look good. This does not look good for Nakamura. Nakamura on the edge of the announce table and just head smashes. Head smashes first onto the table. And now, big elbow. Elbow co connects with face. And now, oh no. Chris Jericho, Jericho, he's looking to, oh, I think he's looking to finish Nakamura. He's looking to end Nakamura's career here. This could possibly end a man's career as he picks Nakamura back up. And I think Jericho, he could have won this match. Oh, into the chest and the kick. And I think Jericho, he could have won this match ages ago. And oh, and he falls right off the stage. He could have won this match ages ago, but it's just desire. It is his desire to take out Shinsuke Nakamura for good. And I think that's what's affecting Chris Jericho. I don't think Jericho gives a damn about being on Team Raw. I don't think he gives a damn about being at the Survivor Series. I think Chris Jericho simply gives a damn about ending Shinsuke Nakamura's career. Tries to go for a right, but no. Nakamura with a right of his own. And Jericho is able to get up. Jericho is able to fight. A, oh, just, a, just for, just for more. What is it gonna take for both of these men to just let, just give up? I don't think. Oh, but I just think none of these guys are gonna give up. I think they're just gonna be just unable to get up. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nakamura has Jericho up. Holy hell! Holy hell! Shinsuke Nakamura! Him and, Nak him and Jericho come crashing through the announce table here! Both Nakamura and Jericho! And I don't think Nakamura is finished! I don't think Nakamura is finished! Nakamura isn't finished! What a inverted power slam! And now Nakamura, Nakamura's feeling it. Nakamura, Kinshasa! 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 And Nakamura saying that's it. Nakamura saying that's a wrap. Saying it's a wrap, but is it really? Is it really? Nakamura has one more left in him. Has one more left in him. And the Kinshasa! Another Kinshasa knee collides with Temple. And Jericho. Jericho, his eyes, are, his eyes are wired shut here. Jericho has not moved. Jericho has not moved. The ref is at a nine. The referee's at a nine count. Shinsuke Nakamura is the last man standing. And what a match! What punishment! Not only did Jericho, but Shinsuke Nakamura dish out! Two Kinshasa's in Chris Jericho's night here! And here is the team for the Survivor Series! Daniel Bryan, The Miz, Braun Strowman, and Shinsuke Nakamura! Nakamura, George Strowman, Miz, and Bryan to fight Team SmackDown 
in a couple of weeks at the Survivor Series. And ladies and gentlemen, we're out of time. We'll see you next time.